Hey, I'm Ron Drobis from KeyboardImprov.com, and for this jazz piano tip, I'd like to look at Miles Davis' tune, Half Nelson. It's in the real book, and it, at first uh, glance, it's a, it's a very nice bebop tune, right? right? Kind of has a nice rhythm, goes up and down the scale, but it becomes even more interesting when you realize that he wrote it on a pre-existing chord progression for um, Tad Dameron's tune, Lady Bird. And Miles, as you just heard, took it in a very different direction, but the chords are the same. And he changed it a little bit, but basically it's the, the chords for um, Lady Bird. And what we can do is um, use it as inspiration to the, do the same thing. Use these chords or Lady Bird and write our own melody to it. And what it is, it, it, you have to sit down and do it, write it out, either you know computer software or uh, written it by hand. Um, and uh, what it does is it, it forces us to make decisions. Because a lot of times when we're practicing, kind of meander and it's getting a little better or maybe not right but when you actually write it down sometimes it really um, we have to think through those changes and come up with something we like and put that um, demand on ourselves it can really um, give a little spark to um, help your uh, composing and your improvising in the long run so you know you might want to write something like this or whatever and then you say oh well I don't really like that you know so I'll Maybe I'll go up now in the second phrase. Then I'll repeat that, you know. Whatever, it gets you thinking. It gets your creative juices flowing in a way that um, uh, really helps us, like I said, with uh, making decisions and really thinking through these. And you can't avoid any chords that are hard because you have to write something down. And who knows, you might just come up with a great tune. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next jazz piano tip.